Well, tonight I'm going to start a little bit of a repair on my match service rifle. So this is a Colt H-Bar I purchased when I was still in high school. And I haven't shot much in competition. I, I had all the intentions in the world to uh, shoot high power, but um, just really got out of competition after high school. And I have shot it uh, recreationally a lot. But unfortunately, I have a lot of corrosion in the barrel. I had a flood in a garage where my safe was and um, it, the barrel got damaged. So it's a great excuse to upgrade the barrel. The rifle has been upgraded with a free float handguard by Stinger out of Texas. Uh, the trigger is a Wisconsin Trigger Company two-stage Malazzo Krieger. It has a worn scope with a Vortex Ranger uh, specifically designed for the CMP competitions. The barrel is a Criterion and it is their um, 223 Remington match chamber with a 1 in 7.7 .7 inch twist. So I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with this rifle after we get it broken in. But tonight we'll start with removing the handguard, removing the uh, gas block, the barrel nut, and swapping the barrel out. I prefer to use a QD contact cleaner to clean up grease on anything that has a nice finish. I didn't have any around, so I, I did this. Uh, I did use the CRC brake cleaner. I was very careful with where I applied it and, and wiped it off of the finish quickly. But the key thing was I wanted to remove the grease uh, that I had on there previously, and I'll replace it with an appropriate synthetic uh, Aero Shell uh, grease that's designed for the AR-15. So I've inserted the new barrel and I'm going to move side to side, flexing it, and there's, there's just the slightest amount of motion, but it's, it's almost imperceptible. So we're going to go ahead and put on the barrel nut without shimming this particular barrel and upper receiver. Um, I didn't even mic it, it's so, it's so tight, it's going to be within probably a thousandth. So I'm, I'm fine with the way it's turned out. So I am now about to start torquing the barrel nut and I'm going to do that in three steps. So I will torque it to 47 foot pounds, which um, that was guidance provided by Fun Shoot Video. I'll try to remember to link him below, but his guidance was to start at 47 and then iterate up and down to find the perfect uh, torque setting to optimize barrel harmonics. So I'm, I'm going to give that a shot on this particular uh, barrel and see what we can do. The uh, process will be a, a torque to 47 foot-pounds. I'm going to loosen that with the breaker bar and I'll repeat that three times. And what that'll do is it will make sure that everything in that clamped joint is evenly distributed. And that's, um, that's a technique that you can do even in any bolted joint to get your initial stretch in a bolt uh, out of the way and then recompress the joint. So it's a, it's a pretty interesting technique that I, I learned and picked up uh, through my experience as an engineer.
So I've got the barrel installed and everything is, uh, seems to be functioning properly. I will do a headspace check. Uh, I just don't happen to have a headspace gauge with me here right now. That is important to go ahead and do that check and uh, I'll get it out to the range as soon as I possibly can and do a barrel break in. I'll obviously have to sight it back in and uh, we'll do that simultaneously. The break in will be its own video and hopefully you enjoyed this and it was informative. If you ever have any questions about rebarreling an AR, there's a lot of resources on the internet, but if you know me, feel free to reach out to me. Good luck and everybody stay safe.